Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. And I'm here with another live stream lesson with you. Yes, you and me. We are going to practice together. Yes, we will be here for two hours. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, great. However, before we go any further, I need to know if you can see me. If you can hear me, please say yes in the comment stream if you can see me and hear me. That way I know everything is okay and I can start. So I am looking for a yes. I see it. Lolly, thank you. So <coughs> thank you so much, Lolly. I really, really appreciate that. Yes. And the green team is in the house. All right. The wonderful, fantastic green team. <laughs> thank you so much. I see Mrs. G classroom. I see Sabine. I see Tomas. I see Tetsuro. And of course, I see Lolly, Ava. <clears throat> okay, great, great. I'm sure more will come into our live stream, our lesson today. I'm sure of that. And I see Helga. Hello, Helga. Hashem, how you doing, Hashem? I hope your mother is doing fine. Esther's here. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Um, Tran is here. Um, Axlam is here. Okay, good, good, good. Mar um, Marina's is here. Okay, good. Kevin. All right, great, great, great. We have a good group as always. Yes, we have a fantastic group of people every time. And so I'm really thankful for that. And I really appreciate you guys for being here and being kind to me being kind to each other, helping each other. And um, that what that what makes a um, good group, right? A good group of people help each other and are kind to each other, are supportive of each other. So that is what makes this our channel, this group so wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. OK, great, everyone. And also, before we go any further, let we always have a toast. Hello, Marion. Hello, Marion. We always have a toast for good luck. All right, so let's do that. So if you have a beverage, please pick it up for our toast. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. That's okay. So anyways, let's toast to the green team. Of course, the supporters, they make it happen. They um, support me and the channel and by supporting me and the channel they are supporting everyone so we have to give a special thank you a, a special toast to the green team green team thank you so much um, green team if you don't have a beverage let's fist bump bam cheers bam yes and because we had a toast let's have a drink mm. okay and also we want to toast to you you are here everyone else for example kvp i see kvp esther kennedy everyone for being here because without you there's no reason for me to be here so thank you for being here let's toast to you let's toast to a fun wonderful interesting productive lesson today cheers yes if you don't have a beverage fist bump bump cheers bump okay thanks everyone rose is in the house nice marie um mariana mariana is in the house okay great 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 i'm happy we are going to have a fun and informative lesson today yes we are <laughs> okay um over there is today's lesson plan I can see it, but you can't see it because the lesson plan is off screen. All right. So I'm going to tell you about today's lesson plan. Oh, one says hello. I need to do the official hello. Yes. First is the official hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here with me because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you so much. All right. All right. Maya is in the house. How you doing, Maya? Wonderful. Mwah. Wonderful to see Maya. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I did the official hello. Now I will tell you our activities. I will tell you our um, 
activities or mm, tasks, okay, we're going to do. Which one doesn't belong? All right, you know what that is, right? Which one doesn't belong? I will give you four items. And with, amongst the four, one does not belong. So you tell me which one of those, which one of the four, which one of the four, we have one, two, three, four, which one of the four doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Why? And remember, why is the most important part, right? Because that you have to use your English. You have to think about the reason why that doesn't belong. So you have to think about it and put it into English. Yes, put it into a sentence. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. All right. After which one doesn't belong, we will do dictation cards. You know what that is, right? I have cards. In each card, I'm going to say the card. You're going to listen carefully and write down what I say word for word. Then, in the second step, we will shadow those cards. That is, we will have speaking practice, all right? So that is dictation cards or dictation practice. Then after the dictation, we will do Lolly's Revenge. Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue. And there are four steps to Lolly's Revenge. Step one, I will read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions about the conversation. Step three, we will read the conversation. And step four, we will shadow the conversation. All right, so lots of good practice. There's listening practice, comprehension practice, reading practice, and speaking practice, all in one activity. Wow, wow, wow. <coughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> no way. It sounds too wonderful. It sounds unbelievable. I cannot believe it because it sounds too wonderful. <laughs> believe it because it's true. Yes, you know it's true because we do it every week, right? So you know it's true. That's why you are here. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right. Well, uh, that is today's lesson plan, and it usually takes at least two hours, right? So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are well. I hope you are ready to practice your English. Wow. Right off. Marianas, thank you so much, Marianas. Oh, I got a super chat from Marianas. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. And because of that, I'm going to send you the dictation cards. Yes, today's dictation cards. That's my present for you, okay? So for your kind support, Marianas, I'm going to send you the dictation cards if you want them, right? If you want the dictation cards, I need your email address, okay? So I need your email address. So if you write your email address in the comment stream, only I will see it. It will be hidden from everyone else. I will be the only one to see your email address. So please, um, if you want the cards, please do that. And I'm going to put your name right up there on the board to show everyone how wonderful you are. Yes, Marianas. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Okay, Marianas. And you get a big heart and maybe have you done this before Marianas I your your name is a little familiar I'm not sure did you send me uh, a super chat a while ago perhaps your name is kind of ringing a bell your name is ringing a bell that's what we say like if we have a a slight recognition we have a slight memory or we forget and then something reminds us like it rings a bell ding 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 so like all of a sudden wait your name rings a bell i have a slight memory of it i'm not sure okay there i see your name mariana says you're welcome thank you so much Mwah. i really really appreciate your kind support by doing that it shows it it shows me that you appreciate what i do so 
that helps me keep going. It gives me, um, gives me incentive to keep going and do my best because that shows your appreciation for me. So thank you so much. Yes, and um, by people joining the channel, that shows they appreciate me and they appreciate what I'm doing and th their name is Green. And so it becomes kind of support me so I can support you. It becomes a, a circle of, of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's a circle of of power, right? You help me, I help you, right? So we support each other. A circle of support. I should say that more. That's a better word. A circle of support. Yes, let's call that a circle of support. I like it. Okay, good, good, good. All right, um, Marianas, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and any questions you have, I'm happy to answer those for you. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, let's get going today. Yes, yes, that's why you're here. You're here to practice your English, all right? And our first activity is, which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? I'm going to give you four items, four things, and you tell me which one doesn't belong. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you, Marianas. Um, yes, good, 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 good. Okay, Marianas. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, um, let's do it. Which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? All right. Okay, KVP says, for me, this activity is very easy. <laughs> Well, okay, KVP, very easy. Ava, um, <laughs> not for Ava, but Ava, um, you're, you're doing better and better, Ava. You're doing better and better. Okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to write it on the board, which one doesn't belong, and, um, and then we need to say, um, you have to tell me why, okay? So let me write this on the board. Which one doesn't belong? Okay, which one doesn't belong? And we're going to start with round one. I'm not sure how many we're going to do. Um, okay. Okay, which one doesn't belong, and then the reason, because. Okay, I have five. I have five here, five, five rounds, but that might take too long. So I'm not sure. It depends how fast we go, how many rounds we'll do. Okay, so I have to be careful about the clock. I have to watch the time because we have lots of things to do today. Okay, so. Here we go, round number one. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go, here are the four things. Are you ready? So please listen carefully. Here we go. <coughs> okay, here we go. Here are the four items. A tank top, a t-shirt, shorts, pants. Okay, here we go, one more time. A tank top, a t-shirt, shorts, pants which one doesn't belong and why which one doesn't belong and why which one of the four okay and remember there are no wrong answers it's your imagination it's the four things how do they relate to each other how do they n how do they not relate to each other all right so there's really no wrong answer and it's up to your imagination so you you decide for yourself which one doesn't belong and by deciding which one you have to explain right you you have to say because you have to explain your reason you have to explain your thinking all right one more time hey Helga how are you doing okay here we go I'm going to tell you the four things again a tank top a t-shirt Shorts, pants. Okay, Tomas is on the board. A tank, a tank top because it's. No, 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 Tomas. 
tank top. So a tank top is uh, a sleeveless shirt. So here I have, okay, I have a shirt and there's sleeves right here. These are sleeves, right? A tank top has no sleeve, no sleeves, no sleeves. Okay, one more time. Tank top, a t-shirt, shorts, and pants. Ava, I don't know what is a tank top. Okay, Hashem, I like it. I like it, Hashem. Hold on. Hashem, let me um, say your answer real quick here. I need to explain this to Ava. A tank top is a shirt without sleeves. So it's just right here, right here, okay? And so this is open. This is, your shoulders are open. Right now, my shirt, my shoulders are covered. But a tank top has no um, shoulders. So it's just a strap right here, and your shoulders are um, open. You can see. You can see your shoulders. Okay, so like for example, <laughs> here's my t-shirt. I have a t-shirt under, and so my t-shirt has sleeves, but if it was only right here, then this would be a tank top. Okay, so tank top does not have sleeves. Sleeveless shirt. A tank top is a sleeveless shirt. Okay, I'm going back. Hashem says pants because it's plural. So that's nice. Good, Hashem. So tank top, t-shirt. But wait, 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 wait. No, no, Hashem. Shorts. Shorts is plural. Okay? Pants is plural. Shorts is plural. Right? So in a way, they're the same. So pants are long and shorts are, sh I'm wearing shorts, right? So they go here, right? And then nothing here, okay? So shorts, pants, pants go down to your feet. <laughs> so my shorts go down to my knees. They stop just above the knees. Pants go all the way to your feet. <laughs> Okay, so so shorts and pants are both plural, Hashem. Okay, um, yeah, tank top. So, okay, pants cover the legs. Shorts cover um, part of your legs, part, not, not all of your legs. Okay, um, Mughal says pants because other ones are casual but pants are a bit more formal very good i like that i like it mugo very good i like it yeah so tank top is very casual t-shirt is casual shorts are casual but pants are can be it depends on what style of pants right so great answer great answer okay i like tetro it says pants because they're for the lower part but shorts are too. Shorts are your lower lower body as well, right? So tank top and t-shirt, your upper body. Shorts and pants, your lower body, lower body. Okay, KVP. Pants because you don't use them at the beach. Yes, we use a tank top at the beach. We use a t-shirt at the beach. We use shorts at the beach. Yeah, very good, KVP. Yeah, K this is easy for KVP, yes. Okay, Maya says pants as they are for legs. But shorts are for your legs too, Maya. Shorts are for your legs. Okay, uh, Mayra says um, pants because it's not for summer. Very good, right? Tank top is for the summer. T-shirt is for the summer, and shorts are for the summer. Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Here in Japan, it's still too warm for pants. So I have shorts because it's still hot here in Japan. So um, for me, pants are too hot. Lolly says pants because they are underwear. 
Okay, I'm talking about um, not underpants. I'm talking about pants, Lolly. So we have underpants, go under your pants, <laughs> and then you got pants. So underpants or underwear, but um, pants are like trousers, okay? In America, we say pants. In um, Britain, they say trousers, okay? So, so pants, I think, is an American word where a British word is trousers. Okay. Okay, Arvin, hello, you're back, good. Oh, Taco Bell, yes, Juan. <laughs> Taco Bell, I like Taco Bell. <laughs> I like Taco Bell, but where I live, there's no Taco Bell where I live. So um, I miss Taco Bell, I miss it. Sabine, um, pant because they are long. Good, Sabine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tank top, right? No, no sleeves, short, or t-shirt, right? Short, shorts, but pants are long. Very good, Sabine, this is fun. Okay, Mrs. Classroom says pants because the other items can be worn at the beach. They can be worn at the beach. Yes, that's right, Mrs. Class, um, Mrs. G. Um, pants we do not wear to the beach, no. Okay, Miss Ramirez, pants because they cover all the m members. Ah, okay, maybe um, you're thinking pants for women, for men, for boys, for girls, for grandfathers, for grandmothers, <laughs> for aunts and uncles and cousins. Yes, okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, um, okay, good, Ava. Pants because we use it only for wedding. <laughs> okay, okay, that's your imagine. That's good. Yeah, um, we don't wear shorts at a wedding. We don't wear a t-shirt at the wedding. We don't wear a tank top at a wedding. But we wear pants at a wedding. Yes, yes, I like it. I like it. Okay, Maya, I'm confused. Shorts and shirts. Okay, yeah. So, t-shirt. Shorts, t-shirt, shorts, t-shirt, shorts, t-shirt, shorts. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, um, Rose says pants because um, they are not for summer. Yeah, so good, good, good. Yeah, okay, Silva, pants because um, they're not used in summer. Okay, good, good, good. Pants because they are long. That's right, Ken is. They are long. Mr. Ramirez, pants because you can use during winter and summer. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, ha, ha, Ramirez, Mrs. Ramirez, Dr. Ramirez. Interesting, right? Because we're looking at um, tank top, like you can't wear in the winter, right? So tank top is for summer. T-shirt is for summer. Shorts are for summer. But pants we can use all year round. Very good, yes. Pants because they could be worn all year round. I like it, I like it. I'm going to put that as my answer. Yes, Sabine, trousers is British English. Good, 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 good. Oh, Tetsuro, pants because we wear them all seasons. Yeah. I'm good. That's good. Yes, Tetsuro. That's good. Okay, pants. Because we can wear them year round. Okay, that's my answer. Pants, because we can wear them year round. Pants, because we can wear them year round okay well done let's do round two now okay round two okay good 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 all right which one doesn't belong and why which one doesn't belong and why 
<clears throat> okay, here we go. Round two. Okay, this is a this is a good one. Are you ready? Okay, Lolly says tank top because there is no S in it. Yes, so Lolly likes Lolly likes to play with the spelling. Lolly likes to play with the spelling. So good tank top. There's no S, right? T-shirt S is in the shirt. Shorts S is in the shorts. Pants is in the pants. <laughs> there are S in t-shirt, S in pants, and S in, in um, pants. Wait, what did I say? S in t-shirt, S in shorts, S in pants, but no S in tank top. Okay, good, good. Marcos, hello. Okay, Marcos, you're ready for round two right now. Okay, Marcos, which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, here are the four things. Here we go. A safety pin, a padlock, scissors, and thumbtack. All right, so this is a good challenge. I think this is a challenge. A safety pin, a padlock, scissors, a thumbtack. One more time. Safety pin, padlock, scissors, thumbtack. Safety pin, padlock, scissors, thumbtack. Okay, which one doesn't belong? Ken is, uh, I do not use pants in summer because it's hot. Yeah, Ken is, I do not wear pants either right so i have shorts it's just here in japan it's just too hot and humid but actually today's a little it's starting to like cool down a little bit here in japan it's cooling down a little bit so actually in the evening it was last night it was pretty nice we didn't didn't have to use the air conditioner just open the window and put on the fan so i didn't yesterday didn't need the air conditioner just open the windows and turn on the fan and that was good enough so i'm very happy it's starting to cool down a little bit here in japan okay tomas is on the board yes it's a big challenge eva it's a good one today it's a good challenge scissors because um they are plural yes good 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 yes scissors two scissors right so two, two like knives together, right? Scissors. So it'd be like two knives together would equal scissors. Yeah? Okay, good. Uh, Ava, scissors. Two hand. Oh, it has handles. That's right. So scissors have handles, right? So handles. You hold them with your hand. Right, handles. Good, good, good. Scissors have handles very good Ava see that's a good answer Ava okay rock on fire safety pin safety pin is where uh, it's hard I'm gonna draw a little picture so we have this is a, a um, plastic part and This is like a pin in here, and it, it pops out like that, right? And so if you want to, um, you want to connect, so let's say, oh, no, like, for example, my button broke or my button fell off. For example, oh, my button fell off, but I need to hold my shirt. I can use a safety pin and just put it here and clamp it and it holds my shirt together and without sticking me, without sticking me. Um, Lolly says, scissors because you can't attach something with them. 
Very good. Okay, so we have safety. Good, good answer, Lolly. Safety pin, a padlock. It's, it's a lock, right? And it has like numbers, right? And if you need to lock your bicycle or a door or something, and this, this will open with the, the, with the combination, right? Pad lock, so if you need to lock a, a bicycle, need to lock a door or something like that, use a padlock, thumbtack, right? And so use your thumb and you put it into the wall or cork board or something like that. And then of course scissors. And we use scissors to, to cut things, yeah? Okay, so we have safety pin, padlock, thumbtack, and um, scissors. And Lolly says scissors because you can't attach with them, right? So here we can attach something like a shirt. We can um, attach the padlock to a bicycle or a door, and we can attach a thumb, thumbtack to the wall or something, or you know, to the ceiling or wall. Okay, that's good, Lolly. Where scissors cuts, 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 cuts. Okay. Hashem says scissors because it's used for cutting. That's right. We can't cut, we can't cut, we can't cut. No, we can't. Yes, so... Um, Mrs. G, classroom says, here in Nicaragua, people use safety pin, pins with diapers. Yes, I think that's the original purpose. That's the original purpose was for diapers. And actually, I read something where um, they, like, this was voted as the number one invention of the, like, 20th century or something like that. So the safety pin was um, maybe one of the greatest inventions ever. <laughs> this very something very simple is a very wonderful thing, right? The safety pin is wonderful. <laughs> simple and wonderful. Okay. Um, Lofty says safety pin because it attaches to things. Mm. That's what a lock does, a padlock, um, lofty. So this can attach two things. Like, so it'll attach a bicycle to a fence, for example. Or a padlock will attach a, a, um, a latch to a door. So I think, I think a, a padlock can work the same as a safety pin in principle, right? Different purpose, but they attach things together. They attach things together. Oh, can I put the names? Yes, yes, yes. So safety pin. Oops. Safety pin, padlock, thumbtack, scissors. Okay. And the, these are all, these are two words, these are one word. So this is one word padlock, thumbtack, one word. I'm going to show you. I have, I have the on paper. I, I'm going to show you, but I don't want to show you yet because um, I want you to think about it, and I don't want to show you the other one. So th there are five on here. There are five. five. Five rounds. Five groups. There are five groups. So I don't want to show you. That way, then you can see all the groups. I want to keep this kind of secret. 
because we're going to use this again, okay? So, um, but I'm going to write, I can write them here on the board. Safety pin, padlock, thumbtack, scissors. Okay, uh, Tomas says, um, push pin. Y yeah, I get, yeah, push pin or thumbtack, yeah. We, we could say push pin, yeah. Thumbtack, you like, you use your thumb and poop. Put it, you put it in the, in the wall or in, in a board or something. Okay, Vicky says scissors because it uses, um, for, we use to cut hair, men and women's hair, right? Okay, good. We don't use a we don't use safety pin for cutting hair. We don't use a padlock for cutting hair. We don't use a thumbtack for cutting hair. No. <laughs> Only scissors. Good, 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 good. Sabine, padlock, because it doesn't belong in my sewing room. <laughs> oh, interesting. So Sabine's sewing room. She's she uses safety pins. She uses thumbtacks and she uses scissors. Very good. Okay, Mrs. G, scissors, cause its purpose is different from the other ones. The rest, um, the rest attach something and scissors has blades to cut out. So, okay, yeah, Mrs. G, scissors are, um, their purpose is for cutting and the others are attaching. That's right. Very good. So scissors are used for cutting, and these are used for attaching. Cutting versus attaching. Cutting versus um, attaching. Anna. Hello, Anna. Mwah. Anna's in the house. Anna. Anna's in the house. Um, thumbtack made from plastic. Okay, well, this is plastic, this is plastic, this is plastic. So I think uh, this is not plastic, this is not plastic. Okay, um, Anna. Okay, floor. Mwah, floor's in the house. Hello, floor. Bad because they're brand. <laughs> okay, floor's doing number one. Um, yeah, no, Anna. Okay, Miss Ramirez. Thumbtack because the others um, you can close and open. Close and open. That's my answer. Mrs. Ramirez, you got it. Well, that's my, I mean, ev there's no wrong answer. That's, that's, that's mine. Open and close. Yeah, so safety pin opens and closes. A padlock opens and closes. Scissors open and close, but not a thumbtack, right? It just stays there. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> very good. That was. There's no. There's no wrong, or right answer, right? No, no. There's no wrong answer. There's right answers. There's no. There's no wrong answer, right? It's your imagination. So that was mine. Um, thumbtack. Thumbtack because it doesn't open and close. Very good. So a safety pin opens and closes, a padlock opens and closes, and scissors open and close. Open and close. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now Lolly, she's got her spelling answer. Okay, scissors because there's no A. In it. Safety pin has an A. A padlock has an A. <laughs> Thumbtack has an A. No A in scissors. Yes, Lolly is the spelling queen. She is the spelling queen. She's a she's a spelling bee. You are a spelling bee. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh uh, yes, Mrs. Ramirez. You're you're very good at this game. Okay, um, let's look at, I'm looking at the time. Well, okay, we did two rounds. So I think um, 
let's stop. Okay, let's do our let's do our dictation cards now. Okay, so so we've been here for 40 minutes. So I think that's good. So I think it's time for dictation cards. Okay, good, good, everyone. Um, let's. Okay, I'm gonna show you the the clothing that we did. Okay. So I I don't want to show you the other items because we're gonna use these again. Um, next week we will continue with this with the other ones. Okay, so. Okay, there there we have. Let me move my computer a little bit. Okay, so we have tank top, t-shirt, shorts, and pants. A tank top, a t-shirt, shorts, and pants. Okay, and pants because we can wear them year round, right? So a tank top, tank top we use in the summer, t-shirt we use in the summer, shorts we use in the summer. However, pants can be worn year round, right? It's hot in, in Japan, but we can still wear wear sh pants. Um, but in the winter and the snow and in the the freezing weather, we can't wear a tank top, we can't wear a t-shirt, we can't wear shorts, right? Okay, good. And then um, I can't show you because, okay, I can, it's just more difficult. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you the other, it's kind of in the middle here, so, so it's going to be a little difficult. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Oh no! <laughs> this is a little difficult now. Okay, okay, here I did it. Okay, so we have, ah, so we have safety pin, padlock, scissors, thumbtack, safety pin, padlock, scissors, thumbtack. Okay, and and right here they are. And I said thumbtack because it doesn't open and close, right? Safety pin opens and closes. A padlock opens and closes. Scissors open and close. But not a thumbtack. No, no. But there are no wrong answers. Many of you had great answers. That's just one possible answer, right? So this is just one possible answer. This is just one possible answer. Okay, so well done, well done. Oh, I will not be here, Elvia. Not tomorrow. I will be here on Monday. I will be here on Monday, September 14th. Yeah, I will be here on Monday, but not, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Okay, let's go to our dictation cards, all right? Dictation cards. So you need pencil and paper. Pencil and paper because I have cards right here and I'm going to read them to you and I want you to listen carefully and write down what I say word for word, all right? That's dictation, listening and writing, listening and writing. All right, oh, oh, I need to tell you what we're going to do. I need to erase the whiteboard. However, before I erase the whiteboard, I'm going to take a picture, right? Because if you want to check this out anytime, maybe you want to, oh, um, I want to see which one doesn't belong again. So if you want to see that again, if you want to see this again, it will be on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. That way you could check it out anytime you want to. So before we do the dictation cards, I need to erase the whiteboard. So I need to take a picture of the whiteboard. Let me get my camera. Okay, so my camera is on. Now I'm gonna come over here, take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go, countdown. Four, three, two, one. All right, I got the picture. <coughs> All right, so it's now saved. It's saved on my camera. Then after today's lesson, I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. I put all my whiteboards there. All right, 
and I put all the videos, all the links to the videos there. So go to my Facebook group page for all that, all right? Okay, now I'm going to erase the whiteboard. And also, if you go to my YouTube channel homepage, you can get all that there too. Not the whiteboards, but you can get all the videos and, and updates and things like that. But um, for the whiteboards, go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, for the whiteboards. Okay, so now we are going to do dictation cards. And our topic today is comparing and quantifiers. Quantifiers, like how we, quantifier is how you judge it, how, do you, how you think about it in size. Okay, so quantify how you think about it in size, how you think about it in size size okay so we're going to compare we're going to compare um with con with um and quantifiers compare quantifiers okay so quantifiers so if there's a big difference Big difference and um, small difference. Okay, some okay. Big difference, small difference, and for big difference, a lot. For example, a great deal. Far much significantly considerably way okay so for big difference so when we're comparing right so Let's compare, compare the pen to the pencil, okay? Is there a big difference? If there's a big difference, we can use a lot. So this is a lot bigger or a lot factor. So if we, if we will look at um, the, the dynamic of the pencil, so, okay, so we got the pencil and we got the whiteboard pen. Okay, so if we could compare these two. So there's a big difference, right? So the, the pen is a lot thicker, a lot wider, a lot wider, where the pencil is much um, thinner, narrower, much narrower and wider, narrow, wide. So the pencil is um, much, it's a lot it's a lot um, narrower, right? It's a lot narrower. This is, a, this is much wider, okay? So there's a big difference. We could use these quantifiers. And if there's a small difference, let's say there's just a small difference between the two. Let's say there's a small difference between the two. We could say um, a little, a bit. Slightly, marginally, 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 a shade, a hair, a tad. All right, so, so if there's if there's a, a, a small difference between the two things we're com comparing, then we could use one of these quantifiers, okay? So for example, okay, I have my, my coffee mug and here's my water mug. <laughs> so, so it's not too much difference. 
right? So, right? So, the red one is a little bigger. It's a little bigger. The red one is a, a bit bigger, a bit bigger. The red one is slightly bigger. The red one is marginally bigger. The red one is a shade bigger. The red one is a hair bigger. Well, not hair. Now, a hair is just a little, 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 right? So a hair. So if we're, we're talking a hair bigger, right? Just, just ah, I could barely see. Oh, it's a hair bigger. Okay, so, so as we get to be like a hair, a tad, now we're getting more, like, more detail, more detail, right? So a little, not so much detail. Ah, I'm looking with my eye. Ah, it's a little bigger. Yeah, I can see it. It's a, I can see it, right? This one's a, a little bigger. This one's slightly bigger. This one is um, marginally bigger. This one's a sh now. Now, if we're getting closer and closer to being the same, let's say now they're we're getting closer and closer to being the same. Now we can use uh, a shade, a hair, a tad. Okay, so now these are now these are like getting harder and harder to tell the difference, right? It's just a hair difference, right? Just a tad difference, just a shade difference, right? Here, we, we kind of, we just use our eyes. We could just use our eyes, right? We're kind of just guessing. We're just kind of guessing. Um, and this is pretty much the same. Like we can, a lot bigger, a great deal bigger, Far bigger, much bigger, significantly bigger, considerably bigger, way bigger. So they all kind of mean the same, okay? But here, this gets to be even, like, the difference isn't so much, right? The difference isn't so much. Okay. All right. So I hope a pinch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, a pinch big. Yeah, we can use pinch. Okay, good one. Yeah, um, Bastos. We can use pinch. Yeah, that's okay. Like, oh, it's a pinch bigger, right? So that would be like here, right? A pinch. Yeah, okay. A pinch. Yeah, okay. I like it. Yeah, pinch. So like we use like a pinch for we're cooking, right? Oh, a pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt, right? So, so when we're cooking, we use just, okay, if you just use a little, a pinch. Oh, we could say a hair bigger. Yeah, yeah, we can go opposite. So, so yeah, so here it's small difference. Okay, so, so there, so Tomas, it's a small difference, right? So, um, so it's a hair bigger, a hair smaller. So for s a small difference, then we, we use these um, quantifiers, okay? And for larger, bigger differences, we use these, okay? So a nuance, yeah. So here we get like nuances, right? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, a hair bigger, a hair smaller, right? So whatever you want to use. And if there's not much of a difference, I'm looking around here for something we could compare that is not much different. Not much different. Okay, I got some pencils here that are pretty close to in. Let me get some pencils here. Sorry. Maybe it, examples are the best, right? By seeing is believing, right? If I can, if I can. Okay, I have a lot of pencils here. Okay, I have a lot of pencils here. Now, the differences, right? So, what are the differences? Okay, is it a big difference? Is it a small difference? If it's a big difference, we could use these words. If it's a, a small difference, we would use these words, okay? So I have pencils, and they're, these pencils have different lengths, right? Some pencils are shorter than the others, right? Because I use them more, and some are newer, okay? So, so here, 
the, the pencils have different lengths, right? Now, some lengths might be um, not pretty, pretty close. So here, these are pretty close, okay? So I'm going to go from, I'm going to measure from the eraser, okay? Now, whoa, so here, here, the length, that is really close. That is really, really close, right? So, but I'm going to say this pencil, this pencil is um, slightly, I like that one, this one, slightly longer, slightly, or, right, slightly longer. Uh, let's see. Let me find, let's use, let's use hair. Can we find a hair? That was like, they're almost the same then, a hair. A hair would be almost the same. Let me find one. Let's see. Let me find. Oh, oh, there we got. Wow. Wow, these two are almost the same, okay? So these two are almost the same. These, these two pencils are almost the same, but they're not, right? They're not the same. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. This, what do you think? Wow, 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 wow. So, I'm looking, and it's hard to see. Ah, yep. This one right here is a hair longer. Just just a hair longer, just a hair. This one is just a hair longer. So as, right? And so as the difference gets smaller, we use these. Now we can go a bigger difference, right? So I'm going to take a pencil that has a bigger. Okay, now it's this is easy, right? Right, the other to, we had to like look at it closely, right? This is easy. Th this is easy, right? Just real quick. You can, you can look at this super quick and you know exactly. So we can say, uh, this pencil is, um, is much, this pencil is much longer than this pencil. Um, this pencil is much longer than this pencil. This pencil is much longer than this pencil, okay? So that's easy, and so it's a, it's a bigger difference, okay? So you got it. You know. So I got all these pencils. <laughs> Who wants a pencil? <laughs> you want a pencil? Actually, these pencils have my, my name. Did you see? These are my promo pencils. MarkCooley.com with, with my face. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my promo pencils, and I, they're good pencils. I, I use them all the time. I use them all the time. Okay, S that was a long explanation. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, okay, it's time for dictation cards. Yes, yes, dictation cards. Now, you need a pencil. You need a piece of paper. Um, please. Write down what I say word for word. Okay, here we go. And we're doing both. There's eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. And we're doing both. Comparing and then com with um, quantifiers. All right? Yes, my brand. <laughs> so comparing is just like a simple comparison, right? So... Um, the red mug is bigger than the white mug. The red mug is bigger than the white mug. So that's just, we're just a simple comparison. And if you want to put more detail, then you add a quantifier. Okay, if you want more detail, more explanation, add a quantifier. So the simple, the simple sentence is, the, the red mug is bigger than the white mug, okay? Now, if we want to add more context, if we want to add uh, more detail, we put a quantifier, and so we can say, the red mug is 
a little bigger than the white mug. So I added more detail, right, with the quantifier, more detail. The red mug is a little bigger than the white mug, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So the eight cards have both. We, the, we have both just the simple comparative and the one with more detail using quant the quantifier, okay? Here we go. I'm mixing them up. Lolly has her pencil and paper ready. Fantastic. Okay, you like it. Good, Alice. I'm happy to hear that, Alice. Ava, you want a pencil? I, I want to give you a pencil, but the problem is <laughs> giving it to you, right? So, so it's very, to, to send in the mail, it probably costs more to send in the mail than the pencil is worth. So I want, to, I want to give you a pencil. That's, that's why I have them made for, to give to people. But um, Ava, you're in the Czech Republic, right? So it would cost a lot of money. And actually, with this COVID-19, the pandemic, you, I can't even send things in the mail. I can't even send things in the mail right now because um, the mail service Nothing's going out of Japan, mail-wise. It's, it's, it's strange. Okay, shuffle, 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 and stop. <laughs> Lolly says stop shuffling. So, Ava, if you um, come to Japan, I will give you a few pencils. I will give you a few. Okay. Here we go. Well, Tetsuro's in Japan. Tetsuro, if you send me your address, I'll send you some pencils, Tetsuro. How's that? Tetsuro lives in Japan. And Tetsuro, if you send me your address, I will send you some pencils. <laughs> so in Japan, it's no problem. I can, send, I can send you pencils in Japan. Outside Japan, then it becomes more and more difficult, more and more expensive. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's count down. Card number one. Five. Oh, 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 oh. Let me... I'm going to read each card three times. Now, um, today's Friday. On Wednesday, we, we went slowly. Okay, so now I'm kind of, I'm mixing up quickly and slowly. So I think today we will go quickly. Okay, everyone? So we will go quickly. And um, let, let's go quickly and then... Um, Next time, we'll go slowly, okay? So today, we're going to go a little quicker than normal, okay? So I'm going to read each card three times, and I'm not going to show you the card. The first round, you're not going to see the card. The second round, we will um, do it again, and shadow, and I will show you the card, okay? So round one, dictation. You're going to listen and write down, but I will not show you the card, um, I will only read the card three times. I will not read your sentence in the comment, okay? That way you have to um, self-check yourself. Self-check yourself in the second round. Okay, here we go. Round number one, you cannot see the card. I will only say each card three times. Okay, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. Okay, Henna. Second time. The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. Third time. The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. Okay, card number two. So this is going to be challenging for some people. That's okay. That's how we get better, okay? So th we're, we're going to card number two now. Here we go. Card number two. Five, four, three, two, one. Cookies are slightly better than chips. Second time. Cookies are slightly better 
than chips. Third round. Or no, third time. <laughs> Cookies are slightly better than chips. Card number three. Card number three. She is happier than he is. Second time. She is happier than he is. Third time. She is happier than he is. Card number four. Card number four. Pickles are better than green peas. Second time. Pickles are better than green peas. Third time. Pickles are better than green peas. Card number five. Five, four, three, two, one. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Second time. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Third time. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Card number six. Card number six. Five, four, three, two, one. Coffee is Far better than soda. Second time. Coffee is far better than soda. Third time. Coffee is Far better than soda. Card number seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number seven. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Second time. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Anna, you got the cards. Mwah. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. I'll write your name up on the board in, in a minute here. Anna, thank you so much, Anna, Anna. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kisses for Anna. Hug, hug, hug. Okay, third time. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline 
cars. Okay, Anna, you get the cards. Anna, you got the cards. I don't want to freak. Anna, Anna. Very, very kind, Anna. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. After today's lesson, I'm going to send you the cards. I have your email address because you've done this many times, Anna. You've supported me many, many times. Mwah, kisses. Okay, here we go. Card number eight. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Helga, nice. Good, Marcos. Okay, second time. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Ava! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, Ava, hold on. I'm going to write your name in a minute. I got I to say this card one more time. Ava, mwah, you're, you too. Anna and Ava always do this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ava. Mwah. Ava from the Czech Republic, Prague. And um, I saw your comment about potato skins. I want to try your potato skins, Ava. Oh, I love, I haven't had potato skins forever. Gosh. Okay. Third time. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Ava. Cheers, Ava. Thank you so much, Ava. Mwah. Ava's getting the cards too. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thank you for your kind support. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay. Good job, everyone. I, I, I didn't say your sentences, but I saw them, and everyone, oh, thank you, Ava. Kind, kind, very kind, Ava. Um, I, I saw your sentence, so m most of you were right on. There are some little mistakes, but that's probably just typing mistakes, typos. So we say typos if you're right. when you're typing and you hit the wrong letter. You, you, got, you know what the word is. You know what it is, but you hit the wrong letter or the misspelling. That doesn't matter. What matters is the meaning, if you understand. And most of all, you understand the meaning. Maybe you got a little thing wrong, but that's no problem. Okay, now it's time to shadow, okay? So speaking, the, so let's shadow the cards, and then I will show you the card, and that way you can um, check for yourself if you got it correct or not, okay? So this is um, self-checking time. Speaking and speaking and self-checking, okay? Speaking and self-checking. Here we go. Countdown to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. 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 Okay, good. Card two. Cookies are slightly better than chips. 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 She is happier than he is. She is happier than he is she is happier than he is she is happier than he is pickles are better than green peas pickles are better than green peas pickles are better than green peas 
pickles are better than green peas. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. 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 Coffee is far better than soda. 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 Electric cars are more economical. Hold on, one more time, sorry. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical, 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 more, econo more economical than gasoline cars. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. 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 Okay, well done. We did it. Yes, 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 dictation cards. Now, um, you guys, uh, Mary Inez, Anna, Eva, you're getting the cards. Thank you so much. Okay, I, now I want to ask you if you agree. Do you agree? Well, this is a fact, okay? So there's nothing to agree, right? So the Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. That's a fact, so we can't, that is already decided, right? That is decided. However, okay, now I want to know your opinion. Do you agree or disagree? Agree or disagree, all right? So in the comments, say, I agree or say, I disagree. I agree, I disagree, okay? Here we go. Cookies are slightly better than chips. Do you agree or disagree? Cookies are slightly better than chips. Do you agree or disagree? Cookies are slightly better than chips. Okay, so do you agree or disagree? Tomas, don't, don't worry about correct. Did you understand the meaning? Okay, Tomas, that is, that's what's important. Um, were you able to pronounce with me? Were you able to speak with me, Tomas? Were you able to say the sentences? Did you understand the sentences? Did you, do you understand the meaning of the sentence? Can you say the sentences by yourself? That's what's important, not, not the spelling, not the grammar. Okay, Hashem. Oh, you took it away. Okay, so don't, Alice, don't, you guys don't worry about, the important thing is, were you able to um, pronounce the words? Were you able to say the sentences with me? Did you understand the meaning? That's what, that's what we want. Okay, Marcos agrees. Lolly disagrees. <laughs> Tetsuro disagrees. Helga disagrees. Wow, all these people. I got a lot of disagreeers here. Um, Mama Do agrees. Kenneth agrees. So Lolly says chips are better than cookies. <laughs> no, cookies are better than chips. Cookies are better. But I say, I said slightly. Right? Cookies are slightly better. I, I said slightly. I didn't say way, not way better. I said slightly better. Okay, so Tomas, you understood them. That's what I is important, Tomas. And, and did, how was the shadowing? Were you able to um, say the sentence with me? Then that's what... 
right? Okay, I have an, okay, I have a good idea. This, okay, this, this is a great idea. I just thought of this, or, or it just came to me because of Tomas. So, so it's, it's great that I'm getting feedback from you, right? So it's important that you're, tell, you're expressing how you, how you did, how you, um, what was difficult for you, what was easy. So your feedback, what you say about our activities is very important to me. Okay, so now, okay, I just, so Tomas said um, when he was doing the dictation, he only got two correct, but he understood the meaning and the shadowing, he could do the shadowing. Now, what I'm going to do right now, okay, this is for speaking, okay, not for writing, okay? Now, I'm only going to show you the picture. Please say the sentence. Okay, I want you to say the sentence, all right? Don't look at your paper. Just look at the picture and say the sentence, okay? Look at the picture and say the sentence. Don't look at your, don't look at your um, dictation paper. Don't look at the comment stream, okay? I want you this. I want you to um, say this in English. Okay, go. Okay, everyone, did you say it? Okay, and did you get it right? The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. Did you get it correct? Yes. Okay, let's let's look at the one we just did. The chips. Okay, again. Look at the picture and say the sentence. Don't look at your dictation paper. Don't look at the comment stream. This is for you to see how well you, you know it. Okay. And cookies are slightly better than chips. Did you get it? Um, Tom, Tomas, higher, yeah, we use tall, taller is a better word, okay, Tomas, taller, higher, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, taller, we, we, we measure, we measure things, like we measure people, we measure things with taller, higher would be like we don't measure. Like we say, Mount Everest is higher. Um, I can go higher. We don't really use higher for measuring. Okay, so measuring, so for example, I am 177 centimeters tall. Okay, so we say, okay, like Tomas is taller than Mark. Maybe, I don't know. How tall are you, Tomas? So, I don't know. Oh, Monk, hello. <laughs> Long time. Mwah, monk is in the house. Good, good, Monk. Um, so, we use taller when we measure. But we use higher for, like, our eyes. Okay, so, so, um, so it's better to use taller for Eiffel Tower and um, Big Ben. Okay, okay, um, okay, let's go to, okay, okay, this, this, this card, we cannot, this is not for your opinion, right, because it's a fact, okay, but we're going to do, see how you can say the sentence, do you remember, can you say it, okay, then I will show you, this is not your opinion, okay, say the sentence, please, Say the sentence. Okay, you said the sentence. Okay, check. How did you do? She is happier than he is. How'd you do? Okay. One more time. And she is happier than he is. Okay, please say it. And she is happier than he is. Okay, good. Okay, and the next card. Okay, this could be, do you agree or disagree? 
Do you agree or disagree? Pickles are better than green peas. Now this is, could be, this is opinion, right? Do you agree or disagree? This is my opinion. Do you agree or disagree? Pickles are better than green peas. Do you agree or disagree? Pickles are better than green peas. Yes, Rita, good. Okay, so um, Alice, you could say the girl is happier than the boy. Alice, we could say the girl is happier than the boy. Yeah, we can say that. We can say the girl is happier than the boy. We can say that. Okay, do you agree or disagree? Pickles are better than green peas. Tomas disagrees. Tetsuro agrees. <laughs> it's weird. Many Japanese people do not like green peas. My, my experience, Tetsuro, is uh, many Japanese do not like green peas. That's my experience. I like green peas. Helga disagrees. Helga likes green peas more than pickles. Connie agrees. Hannah disagrees. Hannah thinks um, green peas are better than pickles. Um, Dainu agrees. Sabine disagrees. Sabine likes green peas more than pickles. Hashem disagrees. Hashem likes green peas more than pickles. Ava agrees. Mrs. G agrees. Rita um, disagrees. She, she prefers green peas over pickles. Kenneth agrees. Lolly disagrees. Green peas are better than pickles. No, no way, no way. I like both. I like pickles and green peas, but I think pickles are better than green peas. Um, they have their own taste, but decide which one is better, Helga. Dainu agrees. Mrs. Ramirez disagrees. Ava agrees. She likes pickles more than green peas. Tetsuro, yeah. So why do so many Japanese hate green peas? Why, why, why? <laughs> uh, Tomas, green peas are healthier and more delicious. Tomas, Green peas are healthier and more delicious. Green peas are healthier and more delicious. Monk, the girl is happier than he is. Okay. Now, now, say the sentence. Say the sentence. Say the sentence. Okay, pickles are better than green peas. Say the sentence. It's a mystery, huh, Tetsuro? It's a mystery. Because in um, om rice, there's green peas in om rice, right? And they're, right? So there are green peas in many dishes here in Japan. Okay, say the sent Tomas, you agree. Monk agrees. Pickles are better than green peas. Okay, how'd you do? Did you say it? Okay, what's your, is it, uh, this again, your opinion. Do you agree or disagree? Agree or disagree? Agree or disagree? Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Whoa, Maya, Maya, this is interesting. Maya says, um, have green peas warm, a bit salted with a small piece of butter on it. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's true. That's how Americans eat green peas also, Maya. I've been in Japan for a long time, but you are correct, Maya. That's how Americans eat green peas also, Maya. So Russians and Americans eat green peas the same way. 
<laughs> yes, it's, it's a small world, right, Maya? It's a small world. Russians and Americans eat green peas in the same way. Even though many times, you know, over the years, Russians and Americans have disagreed, right? Throughout history, um, well, recent history, there's been many times where Russians and Americans disagree, right? But <laughs> Russians and Americans eat green peas the same way. <laughs> so there's lots of, we can, there's lots of common things, right? Okay, do you agree or disagree? Milk tastes a bit better. Now, a bit, a bit better than orange juice. Agree or disagree? Lolly, Ava disagrees. Whoa, lots of disagreement here. Lots of disagreement. Um, Lolly says, I disagree. Orange juice is more nutritious and tastier than milk. Nice sentence. Orange juice is more nutritious and tastier. Okay, Lolly, tastier than milk. Tastier. Kenneth agrees. Thank you, Kenneth. Yes, Kenneth agrees. Tomas agrees. Yes, Tomas. So we do have some agreement here. Helga, milk is good and orange juice is good too. Oh, Helga, no, not the same, Helga. Not the same. You have to decide. Okay. Maya said, yes, Maya agrees. It's a small world. So we have agreement here. Maya, we eat green peas the same way. <laughs> Ava, orange juice is more taste, is tastier. Okay, Ava, we say tastier, not more tasty, tastier, okay? Um, Ava, tastier. Orange juice is tastier and healthier than milk. Okay, here we go, Ava. This is your sentence. Please write this down. Orange juice is tastier and healthier than milk. Here you go. One more time, Ava. Orange juice is tastier and healthier than milk. Really, milk, I think, is healthy. I, don't, I, I disagree. I don't know. I have a feeling that milk is healthier than orange juice. It's just... I don't know by science. I don't know if it's a fact. My feeling is milk is um, more nutritious and healthier. More nutritious and healthier. Okay. Oh, Rita. Rita has a, a interesting comment here. Rita says, orange juice is better in the summer and milk is better in the winter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because maybe um, orange juice is um, like more, more, um, orange juice is more thirst quenching. More thirst quenching. Okay, good, 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 good. Ava doesn't not. I love milk. I drink a lot of milk. I love milk. But I drink non-fat milk. I drink non-fat milk and I drink it. I drink it every day. I drink a lot of non-fat milk. Okay. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Okay, this is your challenge, everyone. Okay, please say the sentence. Please say the sentence. Please say the sentence. Hello, India. India's in the house. Hello. C M R D. Hello. English Dolly Academy. Hello. Okay. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Say the sentence again. Alice says, I don't like, wait, wait, I don't like orange juice, wait, orange juice is better than milk, okay, I don't agree, 
Okay, Alice, I don't agree. I think orange juice is better than milk. I don't agree. I think orange juice is better than milk. Well, CMRD, that's what we're here for. So we're practicing English right now. We're shadowing. So, so um, speak with me, okay? So let's do this together. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. Now do it by yourself. Okay, together. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. By yourself. Together. Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. By yourself. Okay, you got it? Okay. Um, okay, this is opinion, right? This is another opinion. Do you agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? Coffee is far better than soda. Far better. Okay, we're using quantifiers here. So maybe you don't agree with the quantifier. You agree with the comparison, but you don't agree with the quantifier, okay? Or you agree with the quantifier and the comparison, okay? So you might, com you might agree with the comparison, but you don't agree with the quantifier. Coffee is far better than soda. Coffee is far better than soda. Agree or disagree? Ha <laughs> ha, Helga. Interesting. Every Tuesday, a milkman brings milk. Whoa, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen anymore here in Japan or in America. I don't think so. Helga, where do you live? Okay, so Helga, milk is delivered to Helga. Every Tuesday, a milkman brings milk for me, but orange juice trees don't grow here. So no orange juice. Okay, Lolly, I agree. Coffee is more energetic than soda. Mrs. G Classroom strongly agrees. Mwah. Yes, we got a strongly agree. So we have a, she agrees and she used a quantifier to agree with me. I strongly agree. I totally agree. These, so we could quantify agreement, right? I totally agree. I, what did she say? I strongly agree. I totally agree. I, what's another? Um, I, I unanimously agree. <laughs> I strongly agree. I totally agree. Those are the two common, right? So those are the two you should use. Strongly agree, totally agree. Strongly agree, totally agree or I disagree. Okay, soda. Soda makes me fat. Soda makes me, or, okay, I like this, Rita. Soda makes me fat. Coffee makes me happy. <laughs> so we want makes, okay, Rita. One more time, I like this sentence from Rita. Soda makes me fat. Coffee makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like it. I like it, Rita. Very um, interest. Very. That's a fun sentence. Yes, and um, that's a wonderful sentence, Rita. Soda makes me fat. Coffee makes me happy. I like it. Yeah, I like how that playing with English. That's great. Playing with English. Okay, Monk agrees. Yes, coffee is better. Nice, nice. Maya agrees. Nice. Ava strongly agrees. Ava, see? By using the quantifier, you're making your English more interesting. You're making it better. You're making, you're putting more detail, right? You're, you're putting more detail into your, your English, which is, yeah, nice, nice. Mwah, more detail. Great, great. I'm going to make a note. I'm going to make a reminder. More detail in your English. I'm going to make a little note. I don't want to forget. Ah, my pencil. 
right? And so I'm learning from you too as a teacher, right? I see, I see your comments and what you say. And so, oh, that's a good idea. I need to do more of that. So I'm learning from you, right? That's what I like about teaching. So we are um, working together. And so I see your comments. I see what you say. And it's like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. Or, you know, I need to um, do more of that, right? And so I'm making a, um, a note to myself. Um, more detail. Or use more detail. So when I'm making my, so I, I make these little notes. And so when I'm making my English um, activities, when I'm making my English plans, these little like memos, these little reminders, right? Ringing a little bell. Okay, oh, let's have activity where you're using more detail, which improves your English. Use more detail in your sentence. Okay, so now I'm going to think about that better, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think more about that. I'm going to think more about that in the future when I'm making cards, when I'm making activities. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, um, coffee is far better than soda. Now it's your, your turn to say the sentence. Okay, together, coffee is far better than soda by yourself. Together, coffee is far better than soda by yourself. Coffee is far better than soda. Yes, Tomas. Very good. Yeah. Soda has no aroma. So I love the smell of coffee, right? So when the coffee is brewing, right, um, the smell or like you walk into a coffee shop like a Starbucks, like a Starbucks has a wonderful smell because they use dark roasted beans, right? And so with in Starbucks, you can when you walk into a Starbucks store, coffee shop, you smell the coffee, right? Because they, they're roasting with dark coffee, bitter coffee, and so it has a stronger smell. So I love that smell. When I walk into a coffee shop like Starbucks, for example, oh, I feel wonderful. I feel, I feel like, ah, I, I can feel relaxed, right? It's that smell. I love that smell. Okay, um, okay. now this is not opinion. This is fact right? Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. That is a fact, so not opinion, right? So let's just say we have one more card, and this is opinion card, okay? So we're going to talk about this. Do you agree or disagree? But right now, there's no disagreeing with this, right? This is a fact. So now let's just practice saying the sentence, right? Okay, electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. By yourself. Together. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. By yourself. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars by yourself. Together, electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Okay. Yeah, Rita, I think this we're going to do this. This is a good idea, huh? This is a good, I, I like, this is, why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I think about this before? That this is very I like this activity right now. I like it. I like it. Okay, here we go. What's your opinion? Do you agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? We're going to do it again, Alice, okay? We'll do it again before we finish. Okay? Today we're going to do this we're going to do this again. Right now I just want to hear your opinion, okay? Then we will practice one more time, okay? Alice, so don't worry. Yeah, that's a, that one's a hard, this one's a hard one. That one's a hard one, okay? So, but don't worry, we'll do it again. And 
it's okay. You don't have to get all of them today, right? It, it, learning is a process, right? And so you don't get them all today, that's okay. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's a, it's a process, step by step. Okay, here we go. Do you agree or disagree? Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. <laughs> that's almost fact too, really. There's really no disagreeing. Maybe, maybe in the quantifier, but we nutrition science, this is a fact, right? Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Do you agree or disagree? Of course, you have to agree, right? There's Tomas, disagree. No, Tomas. Yogurt is much more nutritious Donuts have no nutrition, <laughs> zero. Oh, there's no electric cars in Brazil. Hmm, really, really. Agree, of course, everyone should agree. <laughs> you all should agree. That's right, Ava, step by step. And I see your, your, Ava, you come here every week, you, you do your best, and I see improvement. So I see how you're improving, Ava. You are improving. You're here every week, and I can see how you are improving. Yeah, stages. Yes, Marco, in stages. That's right, Marcos. We learn in stages. Oh, really? Really? Okay, I agree, but I like donuts. Me too, Connie. So it's a fact, but I also like donuts. I try, I try not to eat donuts very often, right? So um, we know donuts are not good for us, but they, they're tasty, right? Donuts are very tasty. So we can say um, donuts are tastier than don or um, donuts are tastier than yogurt, right? Of course, right? We can say that. But nutritious, if we're talking about nutrition, then yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, Kenneth. Electric cars are much better than gasoline cars. Kenneth, good, good sentence. Electric cars are better than gasoline cars. Electric cars are better than gasoline cars. Oh, okay, Martha, you're late, Joseph, you're, it's okay. Um, we're, we're doing, we're practicing these comparisons, okay? So um, we are saying the sentence, sentences together, and then, you are all, and then you are saying the sentences by yourself, okay? Oh, I had a little burp, sorry. Um, we are saying the sentences together, and then you are saying them alone, okay? So together, alone, together, alone, right? Together, alone, by yourself, together, by yourself, together, by yourself. Here we go. Okay, yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts, by yourself. Together. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts, by yourself. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts by yourself. Yogurt is much more nutritious than donuts. Good. Okay, this is the hard one. This is the hard one. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Now look at the picture, right? The picture is going to help you. The picture, the two pictures will help you. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. By yourself. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical 
than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Buy your together. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Buy yourself. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Electric cars are more economical than gasoline cars. Okay. Coffee is far better than soda by yourself. Coffee is far better than soda. 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 Milk tastes a bit better than orange juice. 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 Pickles are better than green peas. 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 She is happier than he is. 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 The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. The Eiffel Tower is bigger than Big Ben. The Eiffel Tower is bigger than Big Ben. Eiffel Tower is bigger than Big Ben. The Eiffel Tower is bigger. No. <laughs> taller, 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 taller. The Eiffel Tower is taller than Big Ben. 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 Okay, and let's see. Cookies are slightly better than chips. 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 Woo! Okay, <laughs> my arm, my shoulder. Whoa, I sh holding the card up like that. Okay. We did it. Okay. Okay, we got, 
to, okay, we did a lot with the cards today, and so we're not going to have time for Lolly's Revenge. I'm sorry. So, Lolly, sorry, sorry for your activity. We're going to have to do it on um, Tuesday, okay, Lolly? We're going to do Lolly's Revenge on Tuesday, okay? We did a lot today with these cards. So, um, I, I thought this was a good idea. I like this. Um, I'm sure you guys did really well on these cards. So, um, Lolly's Revenge, we'll do that on Tuesday. Today's Lolly's, today's Lolly's Revenge will be on Tuesday. Today's, Lolly, today's Lolly's Revenge, we will do on Tuesday. Okay, stiff shoulder. <laughs> Cut the cordy. <laughs> it's a stiff shoulder. Okay, um, we got like five minutes, I think. So let's just... I'm going to hold it up, and you are going to say the sentence. I'm not going to say anything, okay? This is our last round, okay? So here we go. You're just going to say this. Ready, go. I'm not going to say anything. Here's the hard one. Okay, good luck. And here's our last card. Okay, woo, that was a lot of practice with these, but I think that this was good. I, I thought these are important um, because we're always comparing things, right? And we have an opinion about things, right? So I really liked today's lesson. Yeah, I liked how you gave your opinion. I like how you compared. I like how you use quantifiers, right? I like how you um, use quantifiers for more detail and I saw how you guys use detail and that's great and um, that's something we should think about more it's like um, adding detail to our language meaning um, detail meaning um, to describe it better right to describe our think our thoughts to describe our thinking better what we think about something right and so so the more we can describe how we feel, the, the better, the richer our language is. So richer meaning the better, right? The, the more details is better and richer, right? And so that's good to think about. And it's, um, you guys help me to, to think about that more too. So in the future, when I make our lesson plans, I'm going to think about that more, right? Okay, how can we... Um, how can I help you put more detail into your, your speaking? How can I help you put more detail into um, 
your English language, right? Okay, so that's great. So I'm, I'm really happy about today. I learned a lot today. Um, we, we did a new way of presenting the card, so I like that. So actually, we just added like another layer of how we practice our dictation cards, right? So actually, now we can add a third step. Wow. So step one, listening and writing, dictation. Step two, shadowing. And then step three, more like you use it yourself, like um, what we did today, right? So you saw the picture. I covered the language, and you had to like do it yourself, right? And then we did it together by yourself, together by yourself, together by yourself, right? And so now we could add a third step, which is going to help our, um, will help you um, with, with um, speaking, you know, m like your, your speaking will, will um, you'll have more practice for um, English speaking. So that was great. Yeah, I enjoyed this lesson too, Lolly. Thanks so much. And um, I have to give a special thanks to Mariners, Anna, and Ava for your kind support. You sent super stickers, super chat. So I really appreciate that. And I'm going to send you these cards today. And anyone, if you want these cards, please send a super sticker or super chat, and I will send you the cards. If, if I don't have your address, your email address, you have to give it to me so I can send it. But um, Mariners, Anna, and Ava have already done this. So I have their email address in my computer. But if you're doing this for the first time, that means I don't have your email address. So you have to um, include your email address. And if you do, no one else is going to see it. It's going to be secret because YouTube will hide email addresses. I will see it, but other people will not. So it's safe. Okay. So anyways, thanks so much, everyone. This was like, it's, we were here for two hours. It went by very quickly, fast. It always does. And, um, I, I really had a good time today. I hope you did too. Um, you too. Stay safe. Yeah, that's that's great. Everyone stay safe. Um, this is a crazy world right now, right? <laughs> it's crazy outside. So everyone stay safe. And I really appreciate you guys being here, being with me, um, because without you, why would I be here? And thank you, green team, so much for your kind, kind support. Um, Anna and Ava already part of the green team, and plus they gave me super stickers. Thanks so much. Yeah, Monk, good to see. I hope to see you more here, Monk. Um, Marinus, please um, join the channel. <laughs> Become part of the green team. Yeah, and everyone, please um, join the channel. Let's be part. Help me so I can help you. Yeah, so become a member of the channel. By doing that, you can help me. And by helping me, I can help you. We do um, member-only content. So if you want more content, um, please become a member and you will get more content, okay? So um, please join the channel. Another way to support me and the channel is my Patreon page. I also have a website, markkulik.com, where you can get wet, um, flashcards and worksheets that go with my videos. And, of course, I have some books at Amazon.com. I have this, this mug right here, coffee mug, that I use every day. It's a nice coffee mug, and it's part of the merch. So I got merch. I got everything, right? I got all that stuff. It's all listed in the descriptions below this video, right? So look at the descriptions. It has all the details of today's lesson, plus how you can... Um, support me in the channel. So great, everyone. Nice job. Have a great, oh, Ava, yes, the weekend is coming up, isn't it? Yes, today's Friday in Japan, and tomorrow is Saturday, and then it's Sunday, the weekend, yeah. So have a safe, be safe, have a great weekend. I will be back on Monday, the 14th, yeah, September 14th. I will be back here on Monday at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on Monday, so please come back Monday to be with me and also go to my YouTube channel for all the, the updates and the newest videos. So thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day. Well, have a great, it depends where you are. Have a great morning. Have a great afternoon. Have a great evening. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Smile. Be happy. Stay healthy. 
And let's count down together to saying goodbye, okay? So let's count down to five to goodbye, shall we? Okay, here we go. Let's count down to five. Count down to say goodbye. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone, thanks so much. I will see you on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Smile. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.